All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. Sorry about that. That was weird. Uh, anyways, yes, it is. We're getting to the last third of November right now, uh, recording date of this video. And we're going to be do, we're going to do what we've been doing. Uh, we've been getting into a lot of tog and in the last session, you probably saw we got into some striped bass. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. There's some good stuff, uh, some standouts there, standout moments. So I was prior to, you know, it's just a little bit after that video. Originally I knew I'd have this day off to fish. I didn't want to do the same thing twice. And I was thinking about going out to Jersey to get on some of that striped bass action. But if they're here, which is much closer to me, uh, I'd be stupid to spend an extra hour and a half chasing fish when I could find them so close to home. So we're going to be fishing here. Uh, and we're going to try and get some tog. We got crabs. We're also going to see if we can get some striped bass. I'm not discriminating. I got two setups, a mid action and a heavier action setup. Uh, and between those two, we'll definitely get into something future. But while you're here, uh, please hit that like and subscribe. I really like to see if I can get up to over 800 subscribers by the end of the year or even more, uh, which would be awesome. And thank you for those of you that have subscribed and liked all the videos, etc. But anyways, we're gonna get out to the spot. So do stay tuned. You know what we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. Okay, current is ripping out right now. So I've got like another hour of out going before it switches to incoming. So I'm gonna try and fish in a sheltered area. Pull bottom, see what'll eat some crab. This right here is going to be the spot. Let's see if anyone's home. They were home last time. Got much better current to fish this spot this time. Let's give the crab a break. I'm not getting any bites, tog or stripers. They might, there's definitely fish around. Let's see if they're fe feeding in the middle. Drop the shad down, do some vertical jigging. All right, we're gonna move around a little bit. Kind of mini troll. I don't want to troll, but this current is moving here. But there's a lot of fish stacked up against the structure. And I just dropped it down. I felt like I had a bump. Uh, camera I might have froze out, but I put a little piece of crab on there. I left my proke here somewhere that's not here. I have no idea where it is, but natural proke here, right? Uh, make it a little enticing. And we know from the last session that these stripers will definitely eat crab. So maybe this double whammy will do the trick. I don't know. But we'll try it again and see what we can do. All right, here we go. Work this structure. Two ounce weight, Elias V shad, tip with crab. Definitely fish down there. Oh, that was a bite. Got him. Knew it'll work. Got him. First try. Nature's proke here, right? We're ready for you today, buddy. We're ready for you today. Not using the blackfish rod. Got the heavy duty. Oh yeah, we got some good pulls in this one. I don't think he's that big. He's digging though. He's digging like a champ. bad fish not a bad fish 30 incher 28 30 incher it's not that big we don't need to grip them whoa <laughs> Easy. Get the grip. All right, that's a catch. Right. Slot fish. 28, 30 inch or thereabouts. Nothing to write home about, but solid. Let's get a quick shot. Did all the difference. <laughs> Very nice. Let's get her back. See ya. Okay, I don't know how much of that film we just got. Camera was acting up a little bit. 
So hopefully you saw it, but first drop on the Elias Crab combo. Uh, got a nice slot size striper. Let's get it back down there and see if we can get one uh, in the nature of, or the size of the one that we dropped last time we were here. Uh, I'm sure there's some big ones around, so let's try it. Oh. Going on a ride. Got current pushing us and fish pulling us. This doesn't feel that big. And we're gonna smack the dock. Another slot. Oh, about the same size. <laughs> Look at that fish grip, folks. Effortless. Yeah. Might be a little smaller than the last one, but still pretty. 26, 28 incher. See ya. All right, Elias Crab combo is doing some work right now. Let's see if we can keep this up. I mean, heck, if this lasts all day, we won't even go Todd fishing. We'll just keep pulling up stripers because we know they're around. Let's see if we can keep working them. Let's go. Could be a good one. They're all good ones, but this one could be especially good. Who knows? Oh yeah. Uh. Best so far, probably. Not a tank though, not a true tank. Definitely a slot. Crash. Nice fish. Mid, low 30s, high 20s, low 30s. Just lift them. That's a catch. All right, just got another nice slot right up to the boat. I don't really care, that fish wasn't huge. If he were a 40 inch fish, then it'd be another story. Uh, but for that size, I'm fine with just getting them right up to the boat. So let's get back down there and get back on the action. Okay, we just lost a monster, or what felt really good, but it got us wrapped around the pilings. And of course I wasn't rolling, so you don't even need to believe me, but it didn't end well, uh, so whatever, move on. It's gonna happen in this kind of fishing. Uh, he caught me at a really weird angle went behind the boat and then just got wrapped around. So we're gonna try again. There's definitely some nice fish down there. That one was definitely pulling in a whole nother level, whole other class. So let's see if we can get uh, something to make up for that and hopefully film this time. There we go. Let's go, let's go. Turn that boat around, that's right. Slate ride time. This might be better, I don't know. Going with the current. And we're gonna crash. Jeez, this one's got some weight. 
might be a better fish. Definitely feels heavier. Yeah, it's definitely better fish. I don't know how much better, but it's not a 26 incher. Unless he's foul hooked. We're just really putting on a show. Yeah, that's the biggest one so far, by far. 13, 14 pounder. 33, 34 incher. All right. Getting there. Getting there. over you're not like the one we got yesterday or lost but you'll do in a pinch right, let's get a look at you that's at least 32 hopefully not too back lip but yeah that's a nice one 32 33 inch here Get her back. Not bad. Earning our stripes today, guys. Okay, we just got our best landed fish by far. 32 inch or thereabouts. Somewhere around there, 30, 32. Uh, let's get back down there. I know there's definitely bigger fish to be caught. Uh, tide is definitely starting to slow down before it's going to switch, so that'll make things interesting, but see what we can do. Got him. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Stay out of that bridge. Oh. Marked that one big time. Woo. Oh, this is a better one too. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Definitely a better one. running up current though or down current so it's hard to know just how nice he is this might be redemption for yesterday oh yeah not quite as big but nice that's getting up there Piles of fish. It's getting close. Bigger than the last one, that's for sure. Game over. Game over. That's what we're talking about, folks. <laughs> Let's lift her up a little. Oh yeah. Good 14, 15 ish pounds. Getting there. See you later, buddy. All right, we just got our biggest bass of the day so far. Probably a little under 15 pounds. Not quite the size of the one we got yesterday or lost. And I know it's easy for me to say that, but it's getting there. Let's get back down there and find the big one. Yeah. 
Tiny. I don't think he's huge. striper in the boat nice little 26 inch or so tide is dying out now so I'm curious what's gonna happen with the bite but there's still fish around so that's good these are to hold one spot I mean if this if there were a tog time now's the time but this is more fun so let's just do this Gotcha. There we go. That might be a better one. Find out soon. Oh boy, it's back. Feels good. Feels real good. Going on a ride, buddy. <laughs> Oh my god, so much fun. Sleigh ride. Definitely a better one. Unless we hooked him through the tail or something. to seeing this one this is definitely a better one I'm just curious how much better he is if he's like a 15 or if we're talking like cow range got nice yeah that's the that's pushing 20 that's gonna make up for yesterday's nice fish that's like the one we lost yesterday let's get that gripper ready <laughs> That's more like it. Making it right. 15, 20, easy 15 at least. Making up for that fish we <coughs> lost yesterday. That's got to be pushing 20 pounds. That is a slaunch for me. I don't do a ton of striper fishing. But yeah, look at that broom tail. I mean, he's, if you measure him, he's longer than the boat is wide. So I'd say probably, it's just for, I know he's bigger than the board. This is a 31 inch board. And he's got like another, it's probably like 36 inches and thick. All right, <laughs> let's put it back. Get even bigger. Boom. Okay, it's time for the literal palate cleanse of the video. Nothing really, you know, gets me going after some nice fishing action, like some seltzer. And I'm sorry I didn't have this in the last one. Today we're going store brand. 
Uh, we found ourselves at Wegmans the other day, so we have a, a drag the dragon fruit berry seltzer. Oh, that packs a lot of flavor, folks. I mean, I've had dragon fruit before, like the actual fruit, and I don't think it really tastes like anything, but this definitely has like some like kind of gummy bear thing going on. If you like gummy bears, you'll really like this, but uh, definitely uh, something different. So, you know, we try all kinds of seltzer on this channel, and if you like what you're seeing with this seltzer, feel free to buy it. And if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. All right, let's get back on the fish. All right, striper bite has pretty much died for now. So let's see if we can get on some tog. This is where we were getting them last time. And uh, this is a bit of current. We might need to up the weight or just fish somewhere completely different until things change with the tide, but see what we can do. Fishing for tog. The bass bite is drying up. I think I just had a, yeah, that's a bite. Um, that's a good one. That's a good fish. This might be a decent one. That'll do. Did we just sneak out dinner? We did. A little white chin action. He's so close, but he's touching 16. Just touching it. We're keeping them. 16 right in the money. All right, first tide of the day is just peaks out of keeper. Very cool. Awesome. It's funny. Fished all day for Todd yesterday and only got shorts. Fish all day for stripers today. And the second I switched to Tog, the first keeper is a key the first uh Tog is a keeper, so that's just how it goes sometimes. But let's see if we can get him some buddies. He's right on the money, 16. Much rather get something bigger, but you know, this season is dwindling, so I'm not being picky. Let's get another. Might be decent. Feels decent. Not a keeper, but better than the last one. Chunky one. No, you don't, you're not big enough to go down there yet. What is going on? Come on. Nice try. Oh, that's a good bite. Good bite. He just smit, nailed it. One bite right in his mouth. Oh, yep. Is that, if that's just a fish, that's a keeper for sure. Oh, no! Oh, my God, Dan. That was a good fish. Might have been foul hook, but still, that was a good fish. Dang it. Okay, folks, so that does it for this session. A uh, pretty good one. Really a lot of action. You know, the morning striped bass by itself would have been a video and an awesome session. But the fact that we got all those blackfish in the afternoon with the keeper, uh, also totally worth it. So definitely a winner in my book. It might be one of my last saltwater sessions. Probably my last talk session unless something happens the next week that leads me to think otherwise. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But thank you for watching as always. Please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and all that other stuff. I'll catch you on the water soon. You know what we're going to do. Get some fishing accomplished. Goodbye from fishing. <laughs>